Hey, you girls don't know where I can get a good cheeseburger, do you? I'm a bit hungry right now. Hey, good morning to you. I almost didn't see you there. I'm still on tankard number one. It is Saturday morning. It's about 10 of 10. And though I'm trying to only go to the thrift store every other day, I think I'm going to go a two-day. I've got that gold nugget feeling from within. I feel like Wayne Newton over here. Anyway, guys, let me quit acting up. I've got a few items to go out, and I wanted to share those with you. The first item I've got going out today is this Timex alarm clock, broken as is, or for parts. I picked it up at the Salvation Army for about $1.70. The reason I'm selling it as broken is because the alarm works, but you can only use the beep, 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 beep. I didn't realize it was having that trouble until I got it home and really thoroughly tested it. So I expected it would never sell. Uh, but I was happy to see that it did sell for $9.95 plus priority flat rate shipping. And then the next item that we sold was this Robo Stir Automatic Pot Stirrer. I always 100% of the time sell these. So I always consider these a good pickup at about $2.55. Uh, this one sold for $16.99 with free shipping. And then we've got these two packs of Petty Fix. I found these last summer at Savers. They were in a houseware bag for a few bucks. There was like four or five of them all together. And they took forever to sell. But somebody bought these two packs for a total of $15.98 with free shipping. And then we've got this frothing tip from that Krups 871 that I picked up Monday. It sold for $19.99 with free shipping. So as you guys can see, it probably wasn't that bad of an idea to part this thing out instead of selling it as a whole unit. And then we've got this vintage Westmark pear core going out. I picked this up last week with all those kitchen utensils. This one was like 43 cents. And it sold for $11.99 with free shipping. So I gotta get down and dirty if I ever have any hopes of getting to the thrift. I'll talk to you in a minute. Hey, it's a nice pretty day outside, and I'm getting ready to try to go find a little bit of Bozanga. I'm bringing one piece of gum with me, but I'm going to try not to <laughs> on camera. I'm not having too many nicotine urges anymore. I still get a couple small ones a day, but I just breathe in and breathe out, and I feel fine. So if you guys out there are smoking cigarettes or vaping, you can also put the nicotine down for six weeks and you'll be fine. I can help you out lady. And you're probably thinking there's no way in hell Josh I'll be fine. I've been smoking for 40 years and I can't give it up. Yes you can. I put it down for six weeks and you won't even care about it anymore. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, hello again. It's 2.01 p.m. and I just got out of the Salvation Army uh, twice. I only purchased two items today. The first item was this vintage set of baby gloves. Not sure how well you guys can tell, but it's got that super old packaging on it. It's kind of neat. It was 50 cents. I didn't see anything like this being sold or any sold comps on it. So it's kind of a unique item, so I'm not sure what I'm going to sell it for. I'll throw it up for something. Uh, then I found this box of replacement Word Yahtzee cards. It says there's 90 in there, but I don't think so. Anyway, it was $1. So that's all I found for the time being. I did find this vintage Oster cookbook. I found it in the free bin when I first went in. And I thought to myself, maybe somebody would pay 8 to 10 bucks for this. I've sold less for more. I would probably have to say the find of the day was in the free bin. And I'm not really sure it's actually the find of the day, but it was free, which is why I call it the find of the day. And it was this green shopping cart filled with toys. There's also some other stuff in here too. But as you guys can see, it's just a bunch of toys. And I'm not sure if there's any value here, but it was just sitting there in a free box. And I was like, you know what? I didn't find shit today. Let me just see if I can get something here. I also saw these things in the free bin, and I'm not really sure what they are. I think they're like sock slippers or something. I'm, I'm not really sure. Well, I happened to run into our good friend Jimmy again today. Old Jimmy walked up to me and asked me how business was. And I told him, slow. 
but he mentioned to me that he was down at a garage sale today and found a bunch of toys a lot of 90s and 80s toys and they were wrapped in the box and I thought that was cool I said good man I'm glad you found that stuff you know I said I don't find much of that stuff and I'm not sure how the conversation led into this but again he was telling me about how uh, you know he gets the good video games and stuff in the back he likes he wants me to know he's getting those video games it's like cool man you know this is not my end-all be-all I told him due to circumstances this is where I happen to be right now you know my dad lives up here and we kind of look after each other but if it wasn't for him I would be out of this podunk town you know I told him something too I said you know Jimmy I said I'm not used to this small town uh, backwood stuff like this I said I'm not sure everyone would be happy about this preferential treatment you get when you're going in the back and getting all this stuff and furthermore I told him that if this happened on the coast in a big store like that and if anybody got wind that something was going on like that it would create a riot from hell <laughs> It would not be a pretty picture. I also told him, I said, you know, Jimmy, maybe you shouldn't go back there telling her how much you're selling all these things for. I said, when you tell her all this stuff that you're selling and for how much you're selling it for, it might change her mind on how she's pricing items. I mean, it's already bad enough as it is. Have you, the prices up here are outrageous. I'm not too concerned about it because, again, like I said, this is not going to be where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. If I thought this was it, I'd probably jump off the bridge. Alright, I just looked through this basket of stuff right here, and this is going to have to go back to the Salvation Army. I'm going to keep those slippers, though. I think there might be some value there. Probably sell them in a lot or something. Hey, good evening. It's about 11 p.m. Saturday night, and I'm just over here at the light table just doing a little bit of work. I photographed that Oster cookbook. And these two blades and also this part right here but I think it's gonna take a long time for that to sell but I'm gonna list it anyway I also took a photograph of those slipper socks I'm just gonna sell them in a lot of five and hopefully I can get 30 bucks for them and I'm just kind of over here admiring this little set of baby gloves that I got today I just absolutely love this packaging this is just beautiful vintage and you just don't see this type of thing anymore. Not a whole lot of it anyway. I think I'm going to put this up for $29.95 or best offer with $4.95 shipping. They just look really, really nice. And I think somebody will like this. And it's made in a place called Kanihohi, Kanoe, Hawaii. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but that's cool too. I mean, this is just kind of stuff you don't see every day. Who knows, guys? Maybe this is the last one of these on planet earth and then we have these Yahtzee refills it looks like there's a couple used but then the rest are new so I'm gonna be able to probably get about 12 bucks for these and they were only a dollar this manual I looked it up it only sells for about four dollars plus shipping so probably about eight dollars shipped I've also got some little random things in there that I need to list there's that little soccer jersey and some other little miscellaneous things. But there was a guy who wanted to buy the rest of my doors. I think it was last week. And then I did all the work. I got all these things set up, took photos of them. And then he's like, I don't want them. They're too rough. So I, I had to put them all back online again. And then somebody again came and said, hey, I want to buy them all. Can you give me a discount? I said, sure, I can give you 10% discount and I can put them all in a medium flat rate box and save you a ton of shipping. But that was about two days ago and I just got caught up in just everything, you know, life. And so I forgot about it. And then I was just looking at my messages today. I'm like, oh, I need to go, you know, talk to this guy. So I sent him a message and I said, just give me about a couple hours. I'm going to get this auction up for you you know it's like a private not a private auction but basically I'll just take photos of them and post them for five hundred dollars or best offer and I'll have him send me the offer of like hundred and twenty dollars whatever it is hopefully he gets back to me because I just want to be done with these doors but I think that's all I'm gonna do tomorrow is just list some stuff on eBay but I think for now I'm just gonna go chill out a little bit maybe pull some more for tomorrow also, I forgot to mention when I brought those toys back into the Salvation Army on my last walk around, 10 minutes later after I left, they were already gone.
So I'm just glad that somebody took them and I didn't throw them in the trash because that's what I was going to have to do. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great night. I don't think I want to put my mouth on this. You never know where these little heathens have been. Hey, I saw you. I saw you. I got a feeling most of this stuff isn't going to be worth a damn, but honestly, I couldn't give a shit. Because it was free. Because it didn't cost me a damn thing. It's kind of how I feel about life. Hey, check this out. This is one mother trucker right here. Boop!